हेलो हेलो एवरीवन गुड इवनिंग हेलो या सो हाउ हाउ इज टू पेपर सो ओके ओके सो क्वेश्चन वाज टफ एवरेज नॉट टफ नॉट इजी सो मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मोस्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वाज फ्रॉम वीक 5 एंड 6 राइट Yeah. So, so did you feel that our revision session was helpful? Yes, yes sir. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Hello, Ganga Prasad. How was quiz two? Okay. Any other? Uh, how was quiz two? Is it medium difficult? Deba Smith, Manan, any feedback on quiz two? Uh, no question, sir. But uh, if any option. Uh, Two answers are correct, and I. Hmm. Uh, you are not uh, audible. And the lengthy also, sir. Actually, like I haven't taken the other, but I haven't taken the wrong one also. So. No, no. If you have, uh, you have uh, taken the wrong one along with the right one, so you will get zero mark. No, I haven't taken the wrong one, sir. I have just taken one of the correct one, not the uh, two corrects. Uh, so you will get partial mark. Yeah, for that. Okay. Okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, I was on mute. Uh, so I'm a working professional. I barely get any time to study and all that. So yeah, so I found it difficult, but I think I'll make it up for mm -hmm. interim. Okay. Basically, week six. I think I mean week five, particularly uh, BCNF. Uh, I think lossless and mm -hmm. so the question where which functional dependency you have to remove. To make sure it is three and F, you know, so it just requires a little bit of practice. I, I think knowing yeah. theory, you know, so that was a little long. Yeah. So like similar question was there, like what we have discussed, but just we have just just um just we have just added few more uh, condition into it, or we are asking for uh, like in different way we are asking the same question. Yeah, but definitely. almost we have uh, practiced it every type of question, but the way of asking that question that was a little bit different, right? From Yeah, yeah, typically, yeah. yeah. Typically, we do the decomposition uh, and we ensure it is lossless. Hmm. And and uh, but now it is like you know, uh, and also you will get rid of the redundant uh, FDs, right? So, but here you know it's the other way around, right? Which one you should do to get to the desired answer, right? But I think yeah, I mean if one understands conceptually well, yeah, yeah, yeah should be able to answer. So yeah, yeah I, I think you know two three weeks we should practice and you know. Be more fluent towards enter. Uh, hmm. All right. Number of super keys, na sir. It taken much time. So I guess we have discussed that same thing in the uh, revision session. Like similar thing, all the uh, all the cases. If you have watched that session, you should be able to uh, get that it correct, right? I think there are two questions. One was the number of candidate keys. Other was yes, for no. the super keys, right? Yeah. Yes, the question was there. Yeah. 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 I think we discussed that. In fact, there was a discussion forum. One of the gentlemen from the previous term mm -hmm. had a very extensive notes, uh, which was right. circulated before quiz one. It was pretty comprehensive. Yeah. So if someone has gone through that discourse post or have watched our uh, live session, so they should be able to do that. Yeah. Okay. No issue. So please uh, go through the revision session of week five and week six again. Practice it more. Because in in end term also you can see little more weightage from that term as compared to the other term. Okay, so this practice I, for week five and six, yeah. It's like the mummy returns, right? So you want to <laughs> ride over the dragon, week hmm. five. Week five and week six, yeah. So you can expect around twenty percent, ten, fifteen, twenty percent weightage, yeah, for end term. Okay. Any other? Uh, any want want to give the feedback on quiz two? Anyone? 
Hello sir, good evening. Yes, yes, Ganga Prasad. <laughs> How are you, sir? I'm good. Yeah. Good. I, I I take your name like I want to take. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I yeah. miss that. I I miss that. Yes, yeah. yes. So how was quiz two? So sir, same answer. You people know better than us. <laughs> <laughs> why why do you make so lengthy questions, sir? It was not. It was lengthy. It of it course. is doable, right? We can do a voting also, sir. <laughs> on on a lighter note, you people can also accept this challenge. Like yeah. four of you also can try to solve within one hour. <laughs> I I think if you know the concept, you can solve within one hour. I think what happens uh, if we don't See, practice? Uh, this is a very Devasi, this is a very big if, right? Yeah, it's a very big if, and no. people are from different background, right? <laughs> you need to do practice. That's it. Yeah. There is no alternative to that, right? Correct. Yeah. No, the point is this. Okay, that was on a lighter note. Just please accept the challenge. Mm. Uh, on a serious note, like you know, even in gate examination, mm. like generally, you know, uh, there will be a question to find out number of keys, number of super keys, right? Mm -hmm. Here you are giving on the same question, you are punching three questions, packing three questions. So we have to calculate number of keys so, for three different functional dependencies and then add them together. Same thing for super keys. That's the only thing, nothing else. Of course, once again, it's a institute prerogative. And of course, you know, we have to keep the standard high because it's IIT exam. Mm, right. So once you and do the DBMS question, just uh, try to solve previous year get question or UGC net question. You can yes. you can see like you can solve 80% of the question. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Yes, yes. And that's why it, is, not, yes. Yeah, it is easier than our question. Okay. That's what said, like yeah. in gate, even in gate also, it will be like to one question will be there and to find the number of keys, or one question will be there and to find the correct functional dependency. Here, you know, every question was getting packed with two or three options. Mm -hmm. that, I still remember that coffee tea question, right? That 19th October and 21st October. Right? Correct, oh, correct, I, correct. Yeah, I mean, so basically, C, A, B. So I had to like which one, you know, you have to. Literally, it was twisting ahead, so you I had to literally write it down. I remember, right? Because typically, you'll follow A, B, C, D, E. I think you know, I think the question paper had C, E, A, B, D. So it was like you know, life was already difficult. That time. <laughs> Correct. In that question, my, my eye and head started you know, disconnecting with each other. <laughs> there was no coordination between my eyes and head. <laughs> so many options, and then I was doing a once again, a silly mistake. Like, you know, I was writing the wrong condition. Like, I think it's uh, T1 R minus beta equal to T4 R minus beta. And I was, but ultimately, I did it correct. I got the answer key today. So, my option was correct. I recollected then the yeah. concept. So, it was it uh, that question, uh, MVD question. Correct, correct. Yes, yeah, so it was doable within two minutes. Just you have to swap yes, the yes. two beta value. Yeah, that's yes, it. Yes, yes. Then I recollected that trick only, what you had taught in yeah. live sessions. Na? Yeah, swap the beta values and then check whether that is in within the original table or not. Because that type of question you cannot solve looking at the option. You have to solve yes. that question only. Yes, yes. No, sir. Take the example of that car one. There were six or seven parameters, right? And then you are asking to decompose it into, you know, uh, the last one. I think third, third last mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like minimum small a smaller relation as. Like uh, minimum point. number of table, minimum ah. number of table. Now you say how that is possible in five minutes also, sir. That will take no, no. minimum. That will take minutes. time. Yeah. Yes, that will take minimum eight to ten minutes time. <laughs> Each key is having three words into it. <laughs> okay. But anyhow, bottom line is one second society exam, so we should keep the standard also. But considering a diversified group too. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed exam, sir. Nice yes. paper. Yeah. Enjoyed writing exam. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We'll see the score because every time, even if this uh, paper was tough, still some students able to get it above ninety, right? Yes, sir. So, yeah. so it's a diversified group. Yeah, yeah. That, that I'm saying. I'm saying from the very beginning, there might be students of third year engineering students. Third year, from yeah, the, yeah. And from the very premium institute. They might be preparing for campus and also, of course, they will do it. And there will be students uh, like me who are, you know, learning to add two numbers A plus B. So that's why I keep telling that we should not dilute keeping people like us into consideration and not advocating for that. Oh, don't we worry. Should, we should raise our standards so that we can pass. Yes. <laughs> 
similar question was there but in a different way right that's mm-hmm. it uh, no i think that the main time to fill your so that questions were that question was not discussed in any one of the live session or even in revision session so ah uh, same that similar question is there in practice or graded question you can see but okay maybe yeah maybe i have missed it So now, what about this OP, sir? How to survive? Yeah. <laughs> How to survive? <laughs> Practice. <laughs> so every day we have session like uh, three to four. But, like, uh, three, but three any other before any other before we get into OP, sir. Hmm. Uh, one thing I must say, really, I you know, uh, I will say a big thanks to both of you, you and Pradeep, sir, for taking such a long marathon revision session, sir. That has really helped. <laughs> In fact, we had revised all the concepts starting from week five to week eight. I know all four of you were there. So thanks a lot for conducting. Such Definitely, it was the same sentiment. Otherwise, I think uh, we have gone through the videos and done the practice assignment, but I think the live session, yes, uh, you yes. know, fits in those blanks. Uh, and with that kind of rigor, sir, even on Saturday, I think uh, even at one o'clock you got into picture and you solved a complete question. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and that session went for five hour. Yeah. Yes, that's that's needed, sir. That's why we got revised now all four weeks. You know, yeah. So I am saying thanks to four of you. See, unless you. you are interested, you are interactive. We will take the session. Don't worry about the yes. time. Yes. Sir, so one small request. Ah yes. Sir, so all the session after this after today, it's scheduled from three to four. Sir, so at But least two, at least two sessions are please scheduled after seven. Otherwise, people like me. No, that is doubt clearing session. Like, if you have doubt, you can join the session. Yeah, actually, you can ask the doubt. Yeah. So we are working professional, so it's ah. very difficult, sir, within office asking doubt. So we have session after. Uh, I think. Let me check. We have practice session uh, on. So all session state. I have seen from three to four only. At least two sessions okay. postponed from seven, so that I will hmm. try to attend those three three. to four session but i am not able to ask anything okay okay we'll we'll try to do at least one session we'll try that yeah yeah at least seven to nine one session then okay. we can at least ask and clear our doubt mm-hmm. yeah got your point yeah. so on tuesday we have one more session that is from 9 to uh, 11 that is in morning because we didn't get any slot uh, tuesday miss tomorrow tomorrow is 3 to 4 oh, no no sorry wednesday wednesday sorry wednesday. okay But next is from nine to eleven, huh? Yeah, morning. Okay. So that is solved with us. That uh, in in that we'll discuss those thirty SQL questions. Sir, uh, within these three or four days, whatever preparation we are going to have, will that be sufficient to get twenty percent, including that Python question? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So this morning session, sir, how it is uh, possible for us to attend, sir, a working professional? Yeah, we we are not getting that much slot because many courses are there. Like we have to see that those timing also, right? Otherwise, it will get overlap. That's why. And these are the extra session that we are planning every day. So we have to see that also. Hello, sir. Please. Uh, Hello. Sir, yes. please send the YouTube link, sir, because most of the sessions YouTube links are not there in the calendar. No, no. For today, I am. We'll add every day, sir. Yeah. So, Today I have added the YouTube link in the calendar. You can see, or you can check our YouTube channel, right? So all the videos are there already. Okay, we'll see that. So the difficulty level of the OP will be very similar to the mock questions. You can expect one or two questions slightly difficult. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, most of the questions will be same at the same level. So regarding but, the Python question, I have a very huh. clear observation. So when you go through those problems, I will just mention that thing because you know in Python, in one of the your graded assignment hmm. in week seven, hmm. everything is right. I just um, uh, my trial solution is also running hundred out of hundred, but 
uh, when I submit that submission is successful yeah. without showing any error. But still, I am not getting marks after that. When I check with the, uh, the instructor, they said after analyzing, he, you have not put it one space in between that. The so error put, like yeah. uh, the error like this, unless and until that comes as an error, it's very difficult to debug the programs. See, that is not an error. It is expected output, right? So format, right? So, uh, so when you start the session, I will show you by sharing my screen, sir. No, we know. Results. We know. Like most of the uh, most of you are, are facing that issue that they are getting hundred by hundred during the test run, but uh, in the after submission. No, no. Uh, yeah. That part is one thing, but I am missing one space. Yeah. For that, it is very difficult to debug the program now. Because in program always we are thinking the logic part, not this formatting space or dot. But that is expected output. But uh, I think we cannot uh, like uh, show the error if that you output is does not match. Yeah, but without showing the error. You can simply error, say the incorrect code. That's it. You will get it. Right? No, no, it's not. If the trial run it is showing incorrect, then still I can think okay, there is something wrong. In trial run it is right, but in submission it is wrong because of one space is missing. How can I know yeah. my there is a missing space because so trial for, run doesn't yeah. catch that. For that you have to uh, see the required output format. We have mentioned two condition like if if uh, if, uh, if your name is like this, then output format should be like this. I, I will show so you sir the yeah. problem, the typical problem that I have faced. Yes, yes, I know, I, I know, I have gone through like. Don't worry, yeah. Okay, but in the OP, there will be two questions and you have to solve any one out of it. So, one will be simpler. Like, if you have solved a practice or graded question, you will be able to do it 100%. No issue in that. For Python? Yeah, Python, yeah. So, Python, there will be two questions and out of two, one is, one is mandatory, right? Yeah, anyone, yeah, anyone you have to solve. Anyone will be mandatory, anyone. Yeah. So, how many questions we need to solve total? Total, there are nine questions, uh, seven SQL questions, those seven are all are mandatory, and two Python uh, DB questions, out of which uh, you have to solve any one question. So, 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 if we get it correct, we know that it is correct, right? Because because to pass, hmm. uh, we have to, right? So, correct means so, that test run only, 100 by 100. Okay, okay. So, it will no, be given, No, right? no, no, sir, no. I, I beg to differ here. They was with. Uh, when you are submitting the trial, it will show you 100 out of 100. Still, yeah. you can able to get 0 out of 100. Because, uh, because as a private, private, there is different data sets are there. Having more private, tuples, right? So, but private cases, we don't get a score for private cases? No, no, you will get a score. If your query is correct, then you will get a score. Don't worry. If your output format is okay, your query is correct, then you will get a score. Okay, okay. Uh, sir, just a small request, sir. Like mm -hmm. uh, whatever difficulty level we are expecting in OP, mm -hmm. so let us try to solve that difficulty level questions in this practice session. Yeah, don't worry, we'll solve much higher difficulty than that. Okay. So, Ganga Prasad wants the question to be solved right here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sir. You, you, you can Hello? skip. You can skip uh, that. <laughs> uh, yes, sir. So yes, one feed, feedback for question. Good evening, sir. It's two. Yes, one minute, bye, Ah, uh, yes, Amit. Yeah, this is a very lengthy one, sir, for DBMS. So, which question? Like... So, we have asked to uh, calculate so many <laughs> candidate keys in the quest two questions. With so no, many there was parameters. two questions, right? First, you have to calculate candidate key. In the second question, same question second was question there. Second question is but, easy, but yeah. the first question is very lengthy. And one question is, we have to decompose the relation, which is a, at least 5-6 attribute. Most things are things. Time, time, not hard one. Actually, very time consuming and error thing. Yes, yeah. sir. Since the attributes were not like A, B, and C, but uh, they were like car engine number, model type, and uh, so, so that's why it was. You have to convert there. it into A, B, C, D, right? You Sorry, have to sir? assume that you have to convert that schema into A, B, C, D. Yes. That's all. Yeah. But that takes a lot of time, sir. Yes, sir. Exactly. Uh, okay. Like question is not difficult, sir. Actually. Hmm. Very lengthy. Okay. But in exam, uh, I'm uh, I'm getting only answer for Q1 only. Q2 it is not there. 
to means like set to ah uh, actually which the answer side didn't get sir in portal also i'm checking in where where we required to check uh, have portal. you taken bdm have you taken bdm bhav have, have you taken bdm no oh, no no bdm it is pdsa and uh, dbm okay. otherwise uh, the you know the answer to which have been uploaded in bdm there are three sets and all the question sets are covered there in quiz 2 i think let me check uh, pdf answer key there are three paper right you can see three pdfs are there yes yeah. three pdfs are there right yeah yeah, yeah. you can check like you can check uh, which one is the we you got the question here that's it you can say okay me. sir right sir. thank you so i just posted the link you can click on it mm-hmm. get the answer yeah. yeah okay so like today uh, we'll start with the uh, basic of the sql part again the revision part me, sir ha yes bhai bro sir if we feel that uh, there is some discrepancy in answer key regarding questions can we uh, share it on uh, discourse Yes, yes, you can share. Yeah, if you okay. feel that there is some discrepancy, you can share it. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay. So, like, uh, this is the first session. Uh, today we'll discuss the. Uh, we'll revise the SQL uh, basic of SQL. Uh, what is how to uh, get the query uh, and how to write the query, and we have a few uh, questions also. so we'll do that and then uh, tomorrow we have uh, three to four doubt clearing session after that there is one more session in that uh, we'll discuss the 30 sql question that we have released uh, in the first week itself so i hope you have solved those question right 30 sql question how many of you have solved those question where is it where did you release that one i think those were 20 sir yes. answers were given for 30 Thirty, thirty, all thirty. Thirty, thirty, yeah. Yes. So you can see in the sub in the portal supplementary content, I guess. Okay. Yeah. No, you post the SQL resources unit. You can see resources from instructor. There we have released thirty SQL question. For practice, right? So please try to solve that before uh, Wednesday session. Uh, we can take. you have doubt regarding those question or you can join any of the doubt clearing session if you have any doubt no issue yeah so yes subindu uh, is here ha uh, yes sir thank you sir. yes yes uh, so we can start the session ah uh, yeah thank you. thank you so we'll be starting from the basic so we'll go from basic to advanced and in the middle if you have any doubt you can ask so is my screen is visible hello yes now it's okay. yes yes sir it is visible <laughs> so we'll begin with select statement so what is select statement so select statement is used to select data from database or table and the syntax like select column name in the column name to dot 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 like in the table name right so if you want to like play at the same select perform yeah right it will start means all the things right so it will select player id name dob jersey number and team id from the table right so if you want to select player id and the name so you have to write select Uh, <coughs> player ID and name from players, right? So you can see, it will display player ID and the player tab, right? Okay. So we'll see now. The question is: Write an SQL statement to to find the names of all team, right? So if you see the schema. we have to find the name of the all the teams right so you can see the from the teams table we will get right so let write the query select name which question is this uh, uh, 
uh, I think uh, this is from previous uh, previous year question or uh, or 30 SQL question. Okay. So we have to select statement. Uh, so write an SQL statement to find the names of all teams. Right. So select from name from teams. Right. So we'll get select uh, name of all the teams right amigos thunder rainbow black eagles all stars and arable rights mm -hmm. now the higher clause right so the higher clause is used to filter record based upon some condition right so let's see one question so write an sql query to find the name of the team which whom that's the color is yellow so if you see the schema name of the team which home jersey color is yellow right so jersey home color you will get home jersey color so let's write the query you select name from teams Darcy home color, right? So Darcy home color. L2, yellow, right? So. <coughs> Let's run the query. So you will get name of the teams whose home Darcy color is yellow. After that, all of the clear, uh, all of you clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So you are not get the result, no? Yeah. For the select the name. The yeah, we'll get the all star result. If you see the one, huh? huh? Yeah. That's yeah, only one. Oh, okay. And in the where clause, you can use you know multiple or operator also, and the multiple and op and operator also, right? So. I can compile multiple conditions. So, and the first we'll see the N operator, right? So, N operator fetch those records where all the conditions satisfy true, right? And the syntax like select column one, column two, dot 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 from table name where condition one and condition two and condition three like that. So, we'll see with the help of example, right? <coughs> so, write an SQL query to find the match numbers. Where the host team ID is T004 and the guest team ID is T002. So you have to find the match number where the host team ID is T004. Yeah. Okay. Uh, host time host team ID is T004 and the guest team ID is T002, right? So if you see the schema. You can from the matches match table matches table you can get host team id and the guest team id and the match number also right so you have to write select you have to find the match number right select match number let's write So you have to find the who's find the match number, right? So let's try to match num from matches where host team ID L2 T004 and guest team ID. to zero. So let's, <coughs> let's run the query. So we will get the result m zero zero one zero and m zero zero one four. Right? Okay. Uh, sir. Yeah. In in line number twenty five, why did you select start from matches? Was that necessary to solve this question? No, no. Just I'm uh, okay. seeing the. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. That's fine. Right. So you can. 
uh, with the help of the schema you can see that match <coughs> okay match no rate. problem that's why I write. <coughs> okay now second question write an sql query find the player address of the player whose darcy number is greater than 40 and dob date of birth is before 2005 12 16 right and i will say one important things by default that format is yy and then mm that so by default that format is first year then month then day right okay yy two times or four times so four the, times. yeah yeah so the, yy means year right four times yeah four times so why why means say this is the year then month then that like that so by default that format right so you have to write an sql query find the player address of the player whose jersey number is greater than 40 and dob is before 2005 12 16 right so let's write the query so from the players tables you will get both right Darcy numbers also and the DOB also. So let's write the query. Select player ID. We have to find the player ID, right? So player ID from players where Darcy number, right? Darcy number is greater than 40. Is greater than 40 and dov dov is less than right so let's copy so let's run the query so yeah so you will get list of player id with jersey number is greater than 40 and date of birth is before 2005 right up to that is clear Sir, I have a doubt here. Yeah. Sir, uh, like if only year is given, not date and month, then how we will do it? Yeah, it will, it will, it will be given in the question, right? In in that proper format, or that you will tenth August, uh, like uh, twenty no. twenty one, right? So then no, you sir, can. like go. there was there is one question in OP mock uh, question number fifth. I'm unable to solve it, sir. So yeah, can you please uh, tell what is your question? Uh, so Ravina, that youngest player question, right? Youngest and elder player question. No, sir. It's of a date. So let me. Okay, you can check. Yeah. Okay. Then uh, you can use multiple or condition in the where clause also, right? So like write an SQL query, find the name of the team whose home jersey color is yellow or blue right so from the team's table we can get jersey home color right so let's write the query so select we have to find the name of the team right so name from teams where Darcy home color, right? Let's see. Home color. L2. Yellow. That's your color equal to blue, right? Excuse me, sir. Sir, I pasted the question of the date question. Okay, okay, we'll see. So, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I will uh, solve uh, solve this question. Uh, solve no. Uh, we'll, we'll solve this question right so yeah, after that yes, there is a union operator that times we'll solve th this question don't worry 
will come to that that question yeah okay so up to that is clear hello yes sir okay then we'll be seeing the like operator right so the like operator is used to in a higher class to search a specified pattern in a column right so percentage percentage symbol means represent 0 1 or multiple character or underscore uh, represent one or single character right so let's solve some question so write an SQL query to find the player IDs of the player whose name start with K so you have to find the player IDs of the player whose name <coughs> start with K right so let's if you see the schema so from the player table you will find the name of the player right so let's write the query so we have to find the player ID right select player ID right. select player ID uh, from yeah from player player name like so which name start with k right so start with k, k and then after that it could be anything right then percentage symbol right so we'll get player ids of the player whose name start with k so this is clear for everyone <coughs> hello yes sir yeah then next question write an sql query to find the player address of the player whose name and with a so anyone can you help me how to solve this question whose name and with a like the percentage previous one only the name like percentage, percentage will come, first. Like percentage will come first the name like percentage then yeah. a Sir, for our, our understanding, actually player ID and the name also you can such that I can see in uh, data output. So for the so, proofs, okay, that. Yeah, so in the question, you have to hmm. find the uh, SQL, write an SQL query to find the player ID of the player. So you have to only find the player ID. So if you want to see the name, you can uh, write also. But you have to yeah. see the question also, which attributes you can see which yeah. last name is a, right so in the question we have mentioned write an sql to find the player id we have to find the only player id so that's why in select statement we have write only player id so select player id from player when name like so just to debug if, if you want to be sure that it actually did it right uh, yeah. then that's all if you include the name you know the answer and then after that you can delete it to ah, yeah, can, yeah that's all so a good way of debugging if your query is running fine or not uh, ah yeah, yeah okay 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 then write an sql query to find the player address of the players whose name start with k and ends with a anyone same as the previous question k yeah. percentage okay then last k a. last is a Smaller. and a percentage percentage and a okay. all of you <coughs> the like of it right okay then the next question is sorry write an SQL query to find the names of the player whose name content am right so anyone hmm. put this uh, per, put, put this a in the two percentages so we have to put the in the name right so percentage symbol and am and percentage symbol right so yeah so if you include the name it will be nice to see that how it is working right just for uh, yeah, I, yeah then we are like you know so you can see that who's you can see that pronoun am is included in adam a, a m is included 
am also in a dams j a m but then adam after am there is nothing right yeah after Just adam so actually whose name content am right <coughs> we, are, we are providing MB. percentage and both side now before and after yeah, what is so it can be anywhere. It okay. can start or end. Doesn't matter, right? Okay. AM should be there. See, percentage symbol. So what is? It can be zero or one or multiple character. It okay. can also be one, right? And underscore. Underscore is just. Underscore means it represent only one select a single character. Okay, so if two are there, then we have to put two is underscore, right? Yeah, yeah. Sir, okay. what is first name? Yeah. Uh, it pranav this is pranav pranav not pranav 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 yeah, yeah. name is typical sorry okay. uh, sir just a trivial doubt sir yeah like which table to select so table will be provided in the question right we sir, or we should or no, we should no, refer no. from the original data bank if we see uh, this schema will be provided in the okay. question okay, okay. and uh, and you have to uh, in like and there will be a question like that so you have to find you have to retrieve the data from which table okay thank you sir so you have to understand you have but to sir, uh, how, in, how do we uh, see this like schema this, sometimes yeah. schema is not provided sir now schema will be provided or in the all the question how do we see the schema sir in the portal you can see the schema is it integral with this Yes, so oh, yeah, for yes, sir, it is somewhere else. For so, every question, uh, you can see. Yeah. Yes, schema. No, exam is will be provided, right? No, no, you can see it on the portal. We have released a uh, mock, right? OPS school question. You can see in every no, question no. there is schema. No, no, sir. For portal, I know, sir. I am asking for exam. Whether in exam, no, sir. In portal, it's not there. If you. It is there. Uh, Just it is like there. Uh, it is there. It is like there. The, for the, for the section <laughs> Python question, it is not there, sir. Yes. Oh, last one. Last okay, question. Okay. Uh, so, uh, in OPP, Python I think only one question is not there. Python yeah, yeah. Question. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah. So that okay. question because is. Because this same thing uh, we also face during this week seven assignment. Also, I find one question is not there. So I'm thinking whether the same thing will be there in the exam or not. In the Python question, uh, in the, in this OPP, schema will be there. Yeah, schema is there. so whatever required. Like you can see in one question, there is only one table, right? In mm -hmm. Question number eight. So only one table is required to solve that question. That's why we have given. Okay, table. so table will be provided in OP, yeah. right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We will not have to refer to in a portal, right? No, no. In each question, there will be schema. Oh, like okay. you can okay. just go to the portal yeah, and yeah. you can see. Yeah, yeah. Question. yeah but it's only yeah seven questions are there. You said there are twenty five questions, no? No, no. For in OP, there are seven SQL question and two Python DB connectivity question. Uh, but you are referring to twenty-five questions. Where do we get that one from? Uh, okay, Thirty. Thirty link. SQL. Where is that? It is in the portal. Uh, resources from instructor. Okay. Or oh, resources from instructors. Yeah, yeah. The resources are shared. The link also you can get. Okay. See, go to portal. <coughs> then there is a. Post OPS resource OPS. in it, the resource from instructor. Yeah, I just posted the link. Just click. if you're lazy, just click on the link, it will be there. Yeah, so the SQL practice question you can see. Oh, so you'll see all the X and you can see, see the solution also. But pray, please try to solve. And so, if we solve all 30 confidently, then yeah. uh, then we should be in a good shape for the OPE, right? And please solve also a mock question also. Okay, yeah, mock and this thirty, then we are in good shape. And uh, practice week two uh, practice question, graded question, week three practice question, and graded question. So two, three, seven. So if we finish the week two, three, and seven practice and graded plus yeah. this thirty plus yeah. mock, then basically that's the universe. Yeah, yeah. The, I like think let's start can... from everything, right? Then you can, I think, solve. So oh, yeah. can and we then, expect hundred marks if we do all these things? No, see, there may be. <laughs> uh, see, see, there may be one or two question, maybe a little bit difficult. So this is what I was waiting for. Yeah, all right, thanks. Sir, why you are making this uh, Python one mandatory to pass, sir? You can give yes, it as an correct, optional sir. now. Correct, sir. Correct. Sir. This is a problem. You are not going to solve that question. You want we to are going to solve. 
anyways sir so solving sir we can solve for one entire day if i said i can solve like i have solved all the questions on my own but it has taken one entire day sir so how do you expect like in 2 hours we are able to solve at least Not one question so so you have to practice that right again i think sir what she is trying to say sir one question is going to be tied our semester now <laughs> that is what sir sir please don't do that sir one question Roy Roy never 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 semester. don't don't worry uh, just if you are solve that question trust me you will be able to do that within 15 minutes sir 15 minutes will be for you sir <laughs> that is what sir so python itself was in one semester sir and you are connecting it with dbms dbms we have so many things to do sir uh, see there will be simple question one question will be simple so if you know the python db connectivity you can easily solve that question within 15 minutes so there will be very giving basic question python one question practice questions why are you not giving python practice questions so there is a uh, i week think 7 assignment you can solve four questions huh? are there right? week 7 assignment practice assignments are there or grade assignment two two questions are there right yeah sir we have solved i mean i have solved those all by myself but each question has taken 24 hours to solve sir 24 hours yes sir what mm. to do python and getting the python and then formatting it we have forgotten sir last to last term we have done python no, no, no. so it will be same in... doesn't help you sir yes Sorry? sir exactly uh, this python Python. dbms uh, being mandatory is a little tough on our part like uh, see, if, see. if someone does finish. it then you can award them uh, some great number of marks but if someone doesn't do yeah, it, sir. at least don't fail at them. least make us pass sir uh, we'll get the pass marks like don't okay. make it mandatory okay we'll we'll discuss on that but first let us complete the today's session okay yes sir let us proceed yes yeah. but the okay. point is very valid Yes, sir. Please discuss upon it with the senate. Or yes, sir. So you have to practice yes. that, and it will be mandatory. Yeah. Okay. So next. No, question. you are discussing that one, no? No, we have already discussed. We cannot change the grading pattern now. No, no. You said you will discuss that one. No, that's why I thought that you are revisiting. No, no. It will. It is mandatory. Okay. Okay. So then, next is write an SQL query to find the name of those players. Whose name are exactly seven character, right? So anyone, so we have to find the select and player ID, right? Find the names of those players, right? So name, player, player, name like exactly seven character, right? So one, two, seven. three, four, five, six, seven. So, is there any alternative method, sir? This is, or oh, this is the only way? Uh, yeah, you can. I think this is the only way because there, there are all exactly seven character, right? So you have to put the seven. Okay. I think this is the only one. Method, right? Sir, if we have query something like that, not more than three fifty character. So you have to find the exactly seven character. That's why we have right. Seven is no sir. So here, so the can't we take length and uh, equate it to seven? Yeah. Can't we take a length and equate it to seven? Uh, length function is not there, right? In Python, there is there, but in not in SQL is not there. Okay. You so what ask... if we want to check the for maximum? Maximum yeah. seven. Yeah. Maximum seven, then you can. Uh... Okay, then. Uh... Then yeah, you can do also maximum seven. Yeah. Okay. And we can put percentage before uh, this uh, underscores. We will get at least seven characters then. Yeah, yeah. Then at least. Seven. And yeah. after so maximum seven will be difficult, right? To formulate because if you put percentage, it can take any number of character. Minimum so, seven character we can do. Yes. Yes. So, so for maximum. Sir, we have text box where the maximum length is defined. Is fixed. Uh, okay. See, so maximum seven character. Uh, there is one approach like uh, you can write right left select name from. Name from or name like like that also like. Percentage is can be, or 
for name like like that you can so, post it so can account. i also sorry uh, can i can i ask yeah yeah uh, can i also do something like this that uh, i can create one uh, like variable and assign uh, this value for for every record and yeah. then write a function in python and check the length and get back in case the length uh, they are asking for is too much like 350 okay. characters or something like that see you, you can cannot write in the sql editor python function right you cannot write python function uh, no, no i'm i'm getting that thing and storing in a variable so like uh, in, in that case you have to in this case have... yeah yes. in that case you have to do the python db connectivity but yeah you, you can i think you cannot do uh, in here also python function or uh if you want to use length no, function you can function. use uh, yeah hello. okay uh, yeah yeah so when you can simply use a length l e n g t h length that's it okay 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 go, length yeah. is a function now okay yeah. okay fine. yeah thank you sir. Okay. My SQL it works, but uh, this is for Postgres. Uh... Postgres, yeah. So when do can you try? I don't know in Postgres. I think it will work in Postgres also. Okay. The SQL Server works, which is by Microsoft. It supports that, but uh, but this is Postgres. Postgres will also work. Uh... Where? Just uh, put inside the select uh, any you can try it out if it's working or not okay okay select length and then put any name uh, mm. no you have to see as uh, as uh, abcd i think i guess we have to rename it as abcd yeah. okay. just try now Okay, not working. working. I think not working. So you can explore that types of function. Okay. Len L E N uh, was working. L E N was working in SQL Server. Put A B C in the inside code. That is string, right? Okay. Okay. Yeah, inside code string. Yeah. Now try. No, I think you have to rename it. You have to rename it. L E N G T H. Yeah. Now try. Yeah, it will get three, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Yeah. So now, uh, rather in school. Sir, in uh, line number 58, what is the difference between percentage and underscore percentage? How uh, these two will fetch two different things? So this percentage, it, uh, uh, percentage means it can be zero or uh, zero character or multiple character, but it can be at least one character, right? That means it at least one character. So, but we we are using or here. Yeah, yeah, or here. So, in that case, the second condition is, I think, we don't have need second yeah, condition. Yeah, we don't need. Yeah. So, I there is one approach for maximum uh, seven character. For you have to do like one character, it may be two characters. So, for maximum, I told. Yeah, I thought that is done. Sir, underscore percentage means what is? See. Uh, see. A percentage represents zero or multiple character, and underscore represent one or single character. If you do percentage, it can be zero character also, multiple character also, mm. more than. But character is uh, single character means we must be present percentage underscore percentage means it must be at least one character right okay at least one character okay. yeah at least one character right. okay. Okay, so then. who decides that underscore see yeah underscore percentage hmm. underscore <coughs> as underscore means at, uh, content hmm. on character right hmm. exactly one hmm. Our percentage it can be uh, zero one or many yeah, so that means it can be it is at least one character mm -hmm. it can be more than one also okay 
Yeah. Then write an SQL query to find the names of those players whose name are at least five character. So select name from player where name like it at least five character, right? So at least five one times underscore five. Then underscore. percentage. Yeah, sorry, a yeah, percentage. So it will print the names of those players whose name are at least five character. So like operator is clear for every everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay. We like it, sir. Sir, can we use length function to find the maximum? Uh, yeah, you can uh, try. Yeah, you can. You can try. You can explore. I think you can do. Okay, sir. Uh, then between a filter uh, single person is uh, uh, like it will uh, give all the name single yeah it will give all the name it, that single percentage means it can be zero it can be one or it can be multiple character right okay yeah so it will uh, give all the names okay okay so uh, up to that is clear Okay, then between operator. So, okay. what between operator do? The between operator select values within a given range. The value can be number, text, or date. And between operators inclusive begin and end values included. So, both begin value included also and end value included. And the uh, syntax like select column names from table name, where column name then between value one and the value to right so we'll see with some examples so write an sql query find the player id of the player with jersey number between 10 and 50. so we have to find the player id of the player whose jersey number is between 10 and 50 right so with jersey number is between 10 and 50 so you have to use player table right so let's write the query select here id from player where rc number between And take it. So let's write the query. Okay. So uh, anyone, what is the error? You didn't players. use bracket. I think players. Table name is yeah. players. I think. Yeah, yeah. Players. Yeah. Yes. So you can see the player that is of the player so, with that. Found out here, yeah, sir. In this uh, between, you said ten and fifty. Can we keep the value of ten and fifty in the bracket, or is it okay if we remove the bra bracket? I mean, the parenthesis. Which, which bracket? This between ten and fifty. I can put it in back bracket parenthesis, and still I will get the same result, right? Uh, I don't. So let's try. I mean. <clears throat> there will be give, yeah there will be give some mirror so syntax like so between then value one and the value two like that there should be nothing in between right i mean like that and the 10 will be included and 50 also included so yeah. so is your doubt clear yeah yes sir Okay. <clears throat> okay. Then the find the name and date of birth of the those manager who have joined in year twenty nineteen and twenty twenty two. So find the names and the date of birth of those manager who have joined in year twenty nineteen and twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Sorry. Twenty twenty. So you you will find uh, ma from manager table date of joining in the since attribute right. 
so and the date of birth we'll get so let's write so we have to find name and date of birth right so select m and the date of birth from here So where since between twenty nineteen the one the one and twenty twenty the one the one so you will get the name and date of birth of those manager we have joined in year 2019 and 2022 so this is clear so, so sir, are we considering whole 2020 year yeah uh, whole then it should, it should it should go to the december till december oh, yeah, I think. yeah till december yeah So you'll find the name and date of birth of those manager we have joined in 2019 and 2022. So this is clear for everyone. Yes. Can you please include the joining date just to confirm that it is working alright? Yes, sir. Show, show the since block, since column also. Uh, yeah. You can see Jacob uh, joining date is 2020. Brandon joining date is 2019 and Adam uh, joining date is 2020. So this is clear. Yes. Since is the in between, huh? Yeah, since between. So joining in, in year 2019 and 2022. So you can between 2019 from 1st January to 31th December 2020. Up to that is clear for everyone. Yeah, uh, sir. Just uh, might be a very silly question to ask. Like yeah. name, name, and DOB and since all are attributes or all are column names, right? Yeah, all are common names. Yeah, but uh, name, you know, name. Yeah, yeah. Just come to that slide, sir. Yeah. Uh, the color of name has changed, but the color of DOB and since have not changed. Is, the, is it in, does it indicate something or it is just a coincidence? I know it is not related to this question, but it is just an observation, nothing else. Okay, okay. So I think names might be some keyword or what? Might be keyword also or what? Oh, yeah, might be keyword. Mm, name is a keyword. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay then uh, between of uh, between operator is clear for everyone. Yes, sir. Okay, then in operator. So in operator. Allow us to easily test if an expression matches any value in a list of values. So, is there anything called not between? Uh, I, actually, actually, not is an operator. We can use not with like also, yeah, not yeah. with between also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not so exists. Put, put not and everything. And let, let us check what is coming. Okay, so. I mean, it will give all those results which are which are not included here. Yeah, yeah, not in leaving yeah. these three results. Yeah. So, including so, these three. So there are only six records in this table because the previous query we returned three. Yeah. These two are complementary, so right? If if you see the uh, team select star, are, it should give six records. Yeah. It'll give the six record. So see there are six ah, okay. steps. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So between is clear. Yes, sir. Okay, then in operator. Yes. So in operator allow us to easily test if an expression matches and a value in a list of value. And it replaces many or condition, right? And so let's see one example. Write an SQL query to find the name of the team whose homes are C color is yellow right so let's write the query 
so we have also write in the or right same question yeah so you can also write in the in operator also so let's write in the in operator and is like multiple or right yeah hmm. Home classifier in yellow, like right. blue also, right? It will get the same result. So up to that is clear in operator. Yes, sir. Okay. Huh? The... Then the union operator, right? So, what is union operator? The union operator is used to combine the result set of two or more select statement, right? and the two select statement must be union compatible what is union compatible every uh, select statement within the union within the union must have the same numbers of column and the column must also have the same uh, similar data types right so what union do union operator is used to combine the result set of two or more select statement right so let's see the first question so find the first names and the last name of those is, uh, find the last name and last time of those of, of the student whose birthday is, is in may 2022 or is in or in may 2003 right so let's write the query right so this is the li database right so so let's write the query so from the student table we will get dob right student first name also get, we will get student last name you will get and dob also get right so let's write the query so select then first name then student last name from the students Where DOB between so first we find the date of birth is in May 2002, right? 2002. Yeah, so let's write the query or May so 2002. Zero one and two zero zero two soon five then three zero right in this in this query in the, that query you'll find the which date of birth is in May two thousand twenty uh, zero two right so you'll get the name of the student you have to also find or in May 2003 right so let's write also that query so, that query you will find the may 2003 right so then you so can write in continuation yeah. hello sir am I audible? three hello yeah yeah so three three you missed out Okay, okay. Sir, 2003 yeah so can't be writing continuation like uh, in the in the line number three where you're writing that yeah in the line number three yeah, yeah you can you, or we will write or and then we will put these two dates is it possible uh, yeah you can also try uh, this is the one method you can uh, just i'm explain the union operator so that's okay, why okay. so you can also try uh, there is other method also you can solve that query so i'm explaining what union operator do so you can see this query return the date of birth of the student whose birthday is may 2002 right okay. you can see that 
Vikas and Raju, right? And this uh, query will uh, print the name of the student when date of birth is 2003. And union operator to it will command to the gel setter. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, one doubt, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> here, here the two set that you are considering is two distinct sets, right? Yeah. Yeah, two but distinct. Suppose sets. I find some overlap, will the tuple get uh, means repeated? Uh, no, no, a duplicate no, value it will be union. Yeah, duplicate value, uh, value will be uh, no, print only once. If you do union mm -hmm. all, then it will be like, yeah, it will be like duplicate, yeah, duplicate also. also. Mm. Okay. So, up to that is clear for everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so duplicate yeah. value remove means. If of the date of birth, okay. The, suppose I am finding the name, same name is appearing in May 2002 and 2003, it will repeat, uh, it will show only one, right? Yeah, it will be so only one. Okay. Yeah. But even and all, it will be printed duplicate mm -hmm. also. It will may print twice if, if you do union all. Means all set concept will preserve here. Yeah, yeah. All self concept will be preserved here. If you do union all, then if there is any duplicate, then it will be printed yes. twice. So it is better to write union all. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, then, sir, uh, sir, write the answer on this is uh, this sheet itself now, so that all the answers will be known secondly. I uh, see the, there are different database, right? So this okay. is a oh, LI database. Okay. 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 So, okay. so yeah, sir. Am I audible, sir? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sir, sir, in this question, if you want to uh, know name of the students who were born in May, yeah, then uh, how we can do? Here, we are miss, uh, displaying only for two years, and we want suppose we want for all the years, all all the years in the database. Uh, can you repeat your question, sir? Here in this uh, question, we yeah. are are getting um, all name of the students who were born in May 2002 yeah. and 2003. Yeah, yeah. Or uh, in, but, but, or but, in I want, but I want name of the students who were born in May for all the years rather than for 2002 and 3 for all the years. For all the years. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, for all the years. Anyone? Here is not mentioned, right? The month num equal to five. Yes, yes. The name of the month we have to extract and equate it to five. Uh, yeah, you can also do like you can, uh, yeah. Uh, you can uh, do yourself if you have any, then you can explore. I think, yeah, you can do. Uh, no, sir, I, I don't know, miss. I'm that okay. not that expert. Okay, okay, so could we use the like operator, sir? Like yeah. uh, zero five, like uh, there is a that, month, that, that, yeah. there is a month, month function, yeah. month of DOB equal to five. Ah, yeah, you can try yeah. that. Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Month month of, okay. yeah, that is a month, yeah, thanks. And that was, yeah, okay, so after that is clear, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Okay, then accept, right? So what accept do? In accept, return those tuple that are returned by the first select operation and not returned by the second select operation, right? Then we'll see some question. So write a SQL statement to find the names of player that start with it, uh, start with S, but does not end with N. So anyone? Select names of player, right? Name from player name like this person, this right? This is percentage accept. Let copy that does not end with end, right? Percentage. Yeah. 
so you can see that name of the name of the player that start with s but does not end with l so accept is clear for everyone yes sir yeah then we'll see the aggregate answer right okay so so last what you discussed accept operator no i i just lost my connection can you repeat that once please okay so what does accept uh, operator do accept return those tuple that are returned by the first select operation and not returned by the second select operation so okay. i have discussed on example write an sql statement to find the names of player that start with s but does not end with n so okay. in this first select statement we will find name of the player which is start with s and second okay. select statement you will find the names of the player does not uh, does not end with that that ends with end right mm. and the accept you can find that uh, in Music the whole query accept. yeah whole query will find that start with s but does not end with end okay oh okay mm. yeah <laughs> then aggregate function so yeah so what aggregate function aggregate functions are function that take collection values as input and returns single value right and it uh, in aggregate functions operates on single uh, single columns and returns a single values and aggregate function ignore non value except count rest, right so there are basically five aggregate function count sum what is that ignores ignores ignore, ignore uh, except count rest, ignore null value except count rest. so okay. basically aggregate function ignore null value except count star count stars include null values hello okay sir yeah so we'll see you example don't worry so so there are so first we'll see the count aggregate function right so count aggregate function it returns numbers of value in a given columns right and count works on both numeric data types and non numeric data types right so let's see the uh, instructor table you will find the id the name of the instructor and the department name and the salary of the instructor so if you want to find the uh, numbers of records in the instructor table right so you can write select and count then table name right and table name is instructor so you can see that sorry from yeah so you will say there are 50 stack uh, there are 50 records in the instructor table right so in the aggregate function you can also uh, you know where close so suppose you want to find the how many instructor in the music department right so you can write also right like that where department name equal to music right so in the others let's see other table that's department name so if you want to find the statistic right the statistic department so let's see now so you can see there are six instructor in the statistics department so count aggregate function is clear for everyone Yes, then some aggregate function some aggregate function it return addition of a data value and some works on only numeric field only right so let's see so let's sum up all instructor salary so let's see the sum of all instructor select sum and if you see the instructor table then salary right 
Right. So you can see that there are uh, you can see some of all instructor sellers, right? And uh, you can also put condition. So if you want to know the statistic department seller, right? So you can write also where department, right? Sum of all instructor in the statistic department, right? So you can also put. Okay. Sir, what are this? Could you please? This is the sum of instructor uh, yes. salary from the statistics department. Yes, yes. Then the average aggregate function. So what average aggregate function do? It returns the average of a data value, and average works on only numeric field only, right? Like, uh, uh, sir, all these things consider only one column at a time, right? Yeah, only one column at all. Okay. Only one column. You have to. So, if you want to uh, print some other rows, you have to put group by column. So, we'll come to that. Don't worry. So, find I average. Know. Yeah, find average salary of all instructor. So, you can right select average salary from instructor. So you can find the average salary of all instructor, right? And you can also put in the con uh, in the higher class condition. Of, suppose you want to find the average salary of history department salary, right? So you can also put some put some condition in the higher class, right? Where department name equal to history. Okay, so I think history department is not there, so in that is statistic. Okay. You will find the average salary of a statistic department salary. So average is clear for everyone. What was wrong earlier, sir? What is wrong? So we did not select the this quotation, that's why. Okay, okay. Yeah. Then the max. It returns maximum value of a column, right? So if you want to, so if you want to find the uh, you know, maximum uh, maximum salary among the instructor, right? So you can write select max salary from instructor, right? So you can see that maximum salary among instructor. So up to that is clear, and there is a one aggregate function mean means basically it returns minimum value of a given column so all the aggregate function are clear for everyone yeah so one query over here yeah uh, aggregate in aggregate function like uh, like uh, when we use group by yeah uh, we use aggregate function right yeah yeah can we... i use group by without also aggregate function because i've heard about it yeah you can also group by without using the aggregate function what is the use like uh, see group, <coughs> it group the according to the same value right so i will come to that group by then you can ask questions. okay okay fine. Yeah. okay so aggregate function is clear for everyone okay then group by clause right so what is group by clause it groups the data from the select table and produce single summary for each group so group uh, group by statement groups rows that have the same values you can see that there is attribute having the same values so it groups according to the same values and for each group you can apply aggregate function like sum mean max and the average like that so group by basically it groups according to the 
same values right so let's see some question write an sql query to find the team id and the numbers of player each team right so if you see the player table you have to find the team id and the numbers of player for for each team right so let's write the query so if you see the uh, player table right. so you can see that there are team id right so you have to find the team id and the numbers of player for each team right so select team id then count let's player id from player table right group by group by uh, group by team id right <coughs> yes group by team id so let's run the query so you can see that team id and the numbers of players corresponding each team id right so up to that is clear for everyone Yes, sir. Could you explain this one, sir? Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah. So, write an SQL query to find the team ID and the numbers of player of each team. So, you have to find the team ID and the corresponding numbers of player, right? So, if you see the players table, uh, team ID there is. So, you have to find the team ID at corresponding numbers of players. So, you then what we do we'll group according to the team id so it will group according to the team id and we'll count the numbers of player id right so you select team id and then count the player id but we are counting the number of players in a team using player id right we we'll group it will after the it will see no no i'm just asking we are, we are counting the number of you know as a logical thinking also we are counting the number of players in a team using player id right yeah yeah player id you can so, also so count the name also Ah, so on the right hand side when you are writing group by team id yeah you should write team id or player id no no see it uh, see we have to find the uh, team id and the numbers of player so you have to for each team id mm. you have to find the numbers of player right, right. how many right. players right you, you can also add count it's star also so team will be denoted by its team id right yeah. team id yes. not by its name yeah team id so you have to uh, print the team id so we'll group according group the team id and we'll count the how many after the formation of groups we'll count the how many uh, team how many players are there right so it and basically counts the number of tuples in the data yeah, set uh, in, yeah, the, yes. in the relation yeah count the numbers of tuple yeah got it so we can write star or we can write player id also yeah so up to that is clear yes sir thank you okay the next question is hmm. write an sql query find the team id and the largest jersey number of each team can you what will be the answer select team id comma max 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 of the max jersey team. number max. from players yeah group by team id yeah that's group it team id yeah Maria, correct. Select uh, team ID max jersey number from players group by team ID. So you will find corres corresponding team ID, you will find the maximum jersey numbers. So up to that is for everyone clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we have to find the right hand school to find the team ID and the minimum jersey number for that minimum jersey number we will each min of yeah min of while we are writing this query here we are very much stress free right only during the exam i think the stress gets us 
Yeah, but there will be only a seven SQL questions, right? So three will be easy and three will be medium and okay. one will be difficult. Okay, so at least those three questions we can definitely answer and pass. So we can ah, be yeah. stress free. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's good good to know that so it will be a single table so basically the questions are either from a single table or joints i think yeah so question will be this, yeah. the question table. will be a single table also and the join also um with the variation of yeah. course five five to six tables also no no uh, maximum can be four table maximum okay maximum four okay yeah maximum okay. Four. So you can always find that you are doing right or wrong no uh, i'm not getting it i mean you can test your answer there itself yeah yeah you can test your answer so you know that you you have done the right thing or wrong thing yeah yeah okay, okay. then you have to uh, this is from the ls database okay so let's copy the Find out the numbers of female student in each department. Display department code and the numbers of female student. Right. So anyone? So if you see the schema, in the general table you will find the male or female. Right. So you have to find the numbers of female student in each department. Right. So let's write the query. Select. Department code from account star from account star from department from department where student, student. Oh, from student sorry yeah student mm -hmm. where gender equal to whatever F or female F F yeah F and yeah. group by Group by uh, department code. Oh. Oh, let's write down. So you can deep uh -oh. okay. It's spelling mistake. Oh, mm. right. <clears throat> department. So you'll find the corresponding each department numbers of female student. So up to so that is group by group by is always come after where? Yeah, group by always come after where. Hmm. So let, basically uh, so let's modify this query. So we want to count number of male students and female students in each department. That'll be interesting. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll make a corollary to this. Mm -hmm. Numbers of male student and the female student. Yeah, so we put gender in the group by department code followed by gender, comma, count star. That will be. Yeah, yeah. You can. And then try. remove the where condition. That will be like a follow up. Uh, yeah, you, you can try. So, yeah. Okay. So, after that is uh, clear for everyone? No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we'll move to the having clause. So after the formation of group, if you want to apply some condition on that group, then you can uh, use having clause, right? Like okay, so let's copy that. Write an SQL query to find department names and the numbers of students, those department, each of which more than 60 students. This is from the uh, university database. So from the student name, student table, you will get ID, name, department name, and the total credit. So you have to find the SQL, write an SQL query to find the department name and the numbers of students of those department, each of which more than 60 students. So you have to find the a department names and the numbers of students which department consists of more than 60 students so let's write the query select anyone help me hello 
Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we have to join two tables here. I think. No, no. Uh, no it's a single table. Oh, single table. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Which? It's student yes, table. Yeah. Okay, student table. Okay, student. Uh, Department name. Count star. Count star. As whatever. How many student? As whatever. Yeah, or student. Group by department name. Mm -hmm. Having uh, count star greater than sixty or whatever. Yeah. Having count star greater count than sixty. Greater than sixty. Yeah. So we'll find the. <clears throat> so sixty was not selected. Oh, sorry. So we'll find the name of department which have more than sixty students. Okay. okay. Sir, you are not using where clause, right? You are not using where clause here, right? Yeah. So after the formation of group, if you want uh, to apply some condition, uh, then using uh, you can use having clause. So, no, so no. generally, uh, where is applied at the input level, like when we are selecting, but having is like you know, uh, it is applied after the results are obtained from the database. It's like a yeah, yeah. post processing, right? Once after group is formed, after that you can use no, condition I, like having. What? Yeah, what I was asking, sir, like in previous class, we just we just previous question we discussed uh, that uh, where clause we are using, sorry, group by clause we are using after where clause, right? Yeah, after where clause. So uh, syntax is select, then then select from, then where, then group by. Yeah. Yeah. So here we, we have not used where clause, right? Yeah, you not use where clause because you don't require where clause. Okay. Okay. So if I rename that count star as something, say, to, total count. Yeah, you can rename. As total count, then having will have the total count with the condition or count star? Uh, Having total, having total, total count, total count. count. Yes, yeah, yes, total. you can. Yeah, total count. So there will be total count. Right. Hmm. No, that's okay. Uh, that instead having... of having count star greater than sixty, can I write mm, having total can. count greater than sixty? Total count. Yes, I think you, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I you can. Okay, I think. Because you are using an alias. So yes. I think you can, okay. yeah, you can write. You have to write. Can't write. Yeah. So after that is clear. Group by aggregate functions having clause. So, uh, everyone clear? No. Yeah. Then we'll move, uh, move to the join yes, part. Sir. Yes, yeah. Sir. So then we see move to the join part, right? Sir, one uh, this where to use this on clause? Can you show, sir? Uh, yeah, oh, on uh, means inner join, right? Mm. Hmm. Uh. Yeah, we will uh, we'll, we'll see with the help of example also inner join. When we'll start inner join, we'll see. Don't okay. worry. There is a question in OP regarding the join inner join. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can see uh, the, there is inner join. You can also solve with the help of cross join also. So don't worry. So what is uh, what is join? So join is a operation. Tag two relations and returns as a result another relation. First is cross join. So what is cross join? Cross join basically return the cartesian products of rows from table in the join right so for that for understanding i have created two a small table right so for everyone for understanding right so there is a i have created one table name and the department name the pradeep use and the department right csme and e and department table you can see that department name and the building right 
so first so we'll, dummy table right yeah dummy tables right so let's me okay so uh, this is clear for everyone my, my screen is see mm, yes, yes yes okay yes sir so first we'll see in the whiteboard then we'll see in the pg admin right this is student table and this is department table so if you do if you do the cross join right select start from student and the department right so then will be cartesian part or cross product right Pro, like pradeep cs cs b1 then Pro, uh, pradeep cs me b2 pradeep bt b3 then pius me cs b1 pius me me b2 pius me bt b3 ram e like it will it will basically cross product you can see there is a pradeep 3 then pius 3 ram 3 3 tuple right so basically cross join give the cross product uh, sir though one column is common in both the tables so they will be renamed as right yes underscore department name and uh, department underscore department name yeah that there will be two table uh, so they will be renamed right no no there will be two table right no, no. Department. see department is department name is called department name is column in both the tables right yeah yeah, yeah. So it will be renamed as a student underscore department name and uh, no no it will be like that like if you see see if you do the like that if you see the side so name department name department name and the building so it will be basically okay. the cross join it will give the okay, so the cross join sir yeah it is the cross yes. join. number of columns will be multiplied yes yes yeah. Number of rows, sorry. Yeah. So up to that is clear. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Then one is important. You can also uh, ally operator also like. So we can in a sir, we, form, we can use yeah student yeah. cross join department sir. Yeah, you can also cross join student select start from hmm. student cross join department. You can department. also write okay. that and cross join also. Hmm. Okay. Okay then. then if we, we are see. not mentioning, it is cross join. Yeah. Then we will see the inner join. And this is student table. And this is department table. So what inner join do? Inner join keyword select record that have match with that have matching value in both table, right? Yeah, so you can see the common, common one. Yeah, common one. You can if you see mm -hmm. the uh, department name. So Pradeep CS, they, you can see that there is a matching value, right? Both have common one. So it will print the okay. Pradeep can, CS. Can you please explain picture really in this one? Yeah. Can you please explain picture really on select query? Aging set. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, huh? Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not able no, to. Like an, yeah diagram type of thing no okay okay yeah yeah so see if there is a set a and there is a set b inner join basically that thing that common part intersection inner join yeah. is an intersection yeah inner join is an intersection so okay. you can see so cs is common so cs has come then m is common yeah so m is common so you have okay to... as, we, as we are on inner join can you just on the same stroke can you explain what is outer join yeah, we will see when we will come to the outer join. Oh, okay. No, I thought it would be more contextual if you take it now. Okay. So, what will be the... Uh, yeah, it will come to that. Will come. So, First uh, what is the uh, syntax? Select start from student, then inner join. The first is student table, then the inner join, then department. Then what are the on and which attribute, right? So, department name, right? So, D dot department name equal to S dot department. So, you have created alias right like a student uh, give the alias alias means you can rename uh, SQL allow renaming any relation and the attribute so we have renaming student using s and department using d so where d dot department name equal to s dot department so this is the syntax this is the inner join so if you in doing the inner join so sir, here that on op operator is coming right yeah yeah on operator is coming but the S and D is mandatory when you are using an inner join, is 
no no s and is not mandatory it's like not that. mandatory yeah select so you have that's renaming so like the student so the student add uh, sorry select register from a student from student not join department right so if you uh, not using aliases right so you have to write student dot department name equal to department dot department name right so you can write see so you have to write students in a big table name so that's why we are using alias name right so we can use it alias right like this. Uh, so one doubt here um, yeah. sir uh, can you tell me what what is the difference between an inner join and a natural join because in inner join we are uh, seeking on the same values same tuple values should be matched together and in and in natural join we are checking for the same column and uh, that values we are doing it right yeah yeah right so, yeah we'll the see okay okay so what is the difference so in inner join if you, you can see that department name and yeah, it mm. uh, keep both the copy both the copy yeah yeah but if mm. you see the natural join mm. it will keep one copy only a single yeah <sighs> this is the natural join so it will keep the natural join is right join inner join i'll see so you can see that there is a only one copy mm. so that's the difference and is... natural german john uh, see the common attribute name so if there is okay, a that also see the common uh, yeah inner okay. we specify which attribute join on which attribute right? which attribute but in natural john it will take common attribute right mm. that is the difference uh, no sir even in case of inner join also that works on uh, common attribute only yeah if there is nothing common if there is nothing common then it will not select anything so yeah you have to specify that right? so inner join you can see inner join you have to specify on which attribute right D so department, department name you can do hmm. so you have to specify on which attribute you have to join but in natural join hmm. it will we automatically it takes automatically right yeah ah. it automatically take yes so up to that is inner join is clear so, so just just in continuation of uh, you know this discussion sir like in case of inner join we talk about left inner join and right inner join and then full inner join right yeah, yeah. i will come to that in no, no just 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 in continuation so whether in case of natural join also we talk about the left right and full uh, yeah you mm. can uh, see concept will be like the same right so okay let us let us move then we can discuss this. yeah yeah so here in inner join instead of on we can write also where right uh, you can also after that uh, on after that you can also write where no in place of on can i write where uh, no i think i, think, I don't I think. think no i think no 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 no, no. i think it syntax syntax is uh, for inner join is on on, on yes mm. And equal also if uh, using, right? Ah, uh, using if, also yes. Yeah. If suppose there is a uh, using on or using using, and you have to write only the on which attribute. Right. Okay. So we can see that. Hmm. Using is much better. Yeah. Okay. So up to this is clear. Yes, sir. Okay, then. Okay, then I will. Uh, I'll also uh, uh, one one important things, right? So if you do the if you do the cross join, right? Select so start from student S and the department. And B, right? and if you put some condition right like 
where e dot department name it can be s dot department name so it is equivalent to inner zone it will give the result yes, of the yes, yes. Inner okay zone. this is also equivalent yes in the maximum case we can also using the cross zone then you can put condition on which attribute right so you can d dot department name equal to s dot department name so up to that is clear for everyone so uh, one query i'm having for this yeah um, uh, uh, you said it's the same so result will be the same but while actually uh, uh, when it is executing the query yeah. the uh, response time and everything will be same for no, both even if i'm response time may be different so cross uh, for uh, this query cross after the cross turn and put some condition it may be little bit uh, you know, more so join time. is always better better for the response time yeah huh? yeah, for, yeah join will okay. be always okay. better yeah. okay thank you but in the opp you will not accept the right, right. i'm just asking for information since we we came across this so i thought uh, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah thank you okay then the left join right so then the left left join okay this is the in the so left the inner join using after using on we can yeah. use where condition also in addition to that yeah yeah you can also put some condition also after using then you can put some condition also you can say in this example you can say you join student and department and let the department be let's say mechanical engineering any yeah yeah you can also put yeah. some yeah, yeah. Okay. okay in the left join what will be if you see the set of present so it will print this whole a b whole a this is the left join someone asking about the right so what so left join this, this is left inner join right yeah left left, left outer or inner uh, this is a uh, left no is there a terminal like a left inner join no no outer. left outer so inner join is just left inner join now that's it yeah, yeah. so the, uh, this outer. is a left join or left outer join okay so both are the same thing okay so this is the left join right so a left join basically print the whatever the no left table present right so what left join do so left join keyword returns all record from the left table and the matching record from the right table right so what about the you can see uh, pradeep's cs is the matching right matching cs and the b1 then the pu's me meb2 then if they are not matching record we will simply keep null so left join is clear for everyone left after join it will return all items from the left table yeah. matching to the right table yeah yeah so it returns all the uh, from the left table if there are any matching then will corresponding right you can see if the there product. is no matching it will not return yeah we will um, print yes. null so left means all it the will left return but put null no it yeah yeah return but put null right yeah yeah if so it will return, return but with the value none yeah with the yes, value yes yes null Okay. So and left all the left tuples will be of the table will be fetched, right? Yeah, yeah. Left all the left, left tuple yes. will be fetched. Mm. So, this is clear. Yeah. Okay. So the department is replaced with the OPE table. Students who miss the OPE, they will have null values. Yeah. And the. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And the then the right. Outer join or student, and then this is department table. So what right after right after join do? Basically, this is A and this is B. It will print this record, right? So right after join, right join keyword returns from the right table from the matching record, right? Uh, whatever the right tables and the corresponding matching record, right? So you can see that. CS B1 MB B2 BT B3, but CS there is a matching record for the right and the ME there is a PUS, but BT B3 there is not any matching record, so we'll print simply null. So opposite to right, uh, like opposite to outer. Uh, Sir, in instead of right join, we can write right outer join. Yeah, you can also uh, write outer. Right or left outer. 
Yeah, right after or left after chat. Hmm. Okay. So what would be the number of lines? The numbers of lines will be the three. What about the in the right table present? Right table determines the number of lines. The number of tuple, not line. Number of rows or numbers, numbers, of, numbers of tuples. Yeah. yeah, numbers of tuple. So for 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 line items exceeding the right table, what the left table will do? See, you can see that BT is not matching right in the department. So you will do okay. simply print null. Suppose suppose the right table has only two lines. Only two tuple. Two tuples. Yes. CSME. And what will be the result? So it will print the uh, CSME and the corresponding. If there is two tuple, if you see so that. There will not be a third uh, tuple. Will not be there in the result table. Yeah, third will not be in the result table. Okay. Yeah. So write out it. Then is clear for everyone. So just one so, question. So just one question. So in this case. Let's say uh, we have a duplicate record in the left table. Let's say that RAM is not from E. Yeah. He is from ME. Yeah, RAM from is from ME. 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 Yeah. Then what will be the result? Then, OK. So what we'll do? Uh, the BT will be there, right? BT is there or not? No, not BT is not there. Okay, BT is not there. Yeah. So we'll okay. make it little. So okay. basically, the question we are asking is when there are one to many. Okay, so, so far, it was one to one mapping. Okay. Right? So, so what we'll do? CS up to that is clear. Then there are another tuple. Uh, okay. Uh, I think ME will go with Piyush and Ram. Or what? Yeah. I, uh, yeah, actually. Mm. No, no, no. no, no, there will be. If there is, so I think there will be. M. Me. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's create. Okay. See, Pradeep, CS, and um, you say me. Uh, before doing sir, this thing. Yeah. So department name. Is the key between these two tables, right? Uh, yeah, department. No, is yeah. De, this is the not common any, factor. Common factor. Common is no, why I'm asking because if it is a key, it can't be repeated. Then the key set is name and oh, department sorry. may both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the student table, you can assume name is the primary key. In the department uh, table, department name can be assumed as a primary key. Hmm. But but it is kind of a foreign key or whatever it is, I don't know department name is a foreign key in the student table. So uh, I uh, what will what we do? Uh, if there is a bit is not there, you can try also everything. I think B and the B two and the one more rows will be row and the department name will be M A. So because matching value will be there, right? So RAM ME, ME will be there. You can uh, try also. Yeah, because uh, there was a question that uh, our result will be always, the tuples will be equal minimum, to the right side. That's minimum why number, so I'm talking about the minimum numbers of tuple. Yeah. So minimum number tuples will be numbers of row in the uh, right table. Minimum numbers of tuple. Yeah. Uh, sir? Yeah. So in this question itself, I think uh, we are not using the definition of inner join, right? Yeah. In case of inner join, only the common element, and then it will go. But uh, Manan was also saying that RAM, since ME is common, so it will go with PU. Mm -hmm. But here, here it is outer join, right? Mm -hmm. So I think here the third, uh, third column, sorry, third tuple oh, no. of uh, third tuple of uh, first table will not appear. I think. Uh, so yeah, since you have already created these two tables, yeah, yeah. so can you just push one more data with this and check this? What is the outcome? Yeah, coming? yeah, yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's get. So you may have to empty it out first, right? Sorry. Yeah. Insert into student. Okay.
Let's write A, B, C in the M, right? Okay. Select start from student S. And then it's department D. One department. So if you see, see there is a another record will be there. Yes. yes. And four tuples. Yeah, four tuples. So someone is asking, I'm telling about the minimum numbers of tuple will be the minimum numbers of tuple will be the numbers of tuple in the right after that. Minimum. So, what so, so sir, what, what is the outcome? Right? ABC ME came or not? What is the outcome? Uh, ABC is come, right? ABC is come in the another tuple, ME, ME. There are two ME, so it is yeah. going. This can be an intern question. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. sir, sir, then it is you working on the theory of inner join only. Ah, uh, yeah. Then it is working in the theory uh, on the principle of inner join only. No, no. See, right join means. Right whatever. join means all the remaining call, uh, you know, tuple of uh, right side table will also appear. That is right join, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but but since the third tuple of first table is also appearing, so see in our join, uh, when you, <coughs> sir, can I answer this? See, yes, yes. Uh, sir, in this, uh, when you do inner join, you will see the common tuples which are matching on the values. But in the right outer join, you are taking the all the values of uh, the right side tuple, uh, sorry, right table, and uh, matching with the values which are common in uh, left. With the left one, but in inner join you are doing only the common uh, matching the common ones. So here also, na M E M E are matching. That's why A B C M E has come. Otherwise, you but you but in inner join B T will not come. <coughs> B T department will name will yeah. not come. Yeah, yeah. In inner join. Okay, so the underlying principle is same, na that whatever is inner join is also following the common you know feature. The same ah, is working same. somewhere. So, see, inner zone means basically print the uh, matching value or common value. Yes. And yes. The, what in the right zone or right outer zone Met, uh, means common values plus whatever the right table present. Right. Okay. So this is, this is slight modification of inner zone. Okay. Yeah, slight modification of inner zone. Right. Okay. 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 okay so inner inner means it should be both on the left and on the right. It has to be in the right, but may or may not be from left. Correct. So the, I think that's a you know, set theory uh, yeah. answer. And this is student table and this is department. Department table, right. So you didn't discuss the outer join, no? Yeah, this is, this is uh, I think this will be the, uh, this is outer join, sorry. This is outer join, sorry. Outer join. Full outer join or full join? Full join. Full join or full outer join? So full join or full outer join, what will do in the set? It will print. Yeah. Take everything. Take everything. Yes, take everything. So, including the common item? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Including. yeah including common. First there common will come and then left side and then right side. Yeah, yeah. First common, then left side and the right side. If there so are what not, happens to the common item? Will it appear as one item or two items? Uh, see, Pradeep CS. You can see that CS is there, right? So Pradeep CS CS B one, right? Then Pius ME Pius ME is there. ME you can see Pius ME B two is there, right? Then Ram E, but E is not there, so we'll print null, right? Then BT B three BT B three, but but is there not there, so we'll print null. Okay. So for, after that is clear for everyone to join. Yes, sir. sir, can we tackle that question now, sir? Like uh, we are done with the uh, you know, inner join left and right. So yeah. the outer join left and right. Yeah. So we have a similar concept exist for natural join also. Like yeah. the left natural join, right natural join. Yeah, yeah. Like See, there is a natural join. Then a natural join. Then natural. 
लेफ्ट जॉइंट नेचरल राइट जॉइन और राइट आउटर जॉइन ऑल नेचरल फुल आउटर जॉइन सो कॉन्सेप्ट वुड बी लाइक द सेम ओके सो दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी एग्जिस्ट राइट या या दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी एग्जिस्ट व्हाट वे इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द नॉर्मल जॉइन सो सी इन द यू कैन सी द नेचरल जॉइन वी डोंट हैव टू पुट द ऑन व्हिच एट्रिब्यूट यू हैव टू जॉइन ऑन व्हिच एट्रिब्यूट इट विल सिंपली टेक द कॉमन एट्रिब्यूट राइट so if you do the natural join oh so if you do the natural join select natural join select sorry select star join <coughs> natural join if for that so you have don't have to put we have to join on which attributes it will uh, tag automatically tag call um, same attribute right so you can if see there that. is no common 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 column yeah, you can see that there is a only a common column department right if you see the yeah. if you see the table right you can see mm -hmm. that there is a department name is column right oh. department name is column so if you do the natural join select start mm -hmm. from student natural join department mm -hmm. so it will automatically you know join between the now same column right so department name is column so it will join between the same column and department name will be appear one only one copy like that there is more than one column common column what will happen so if there are more than one column is there so it based on more than one column so if there is a if there is a a b c one table and there is a b c d b, c d c, d so yeah you can see there there if there see is this. more than one column then it will tag two both the value b and c right if there is a one to present also in there is a one to present also then it based on based on uh, one okay one so, so if you okay, okay. i i will i will show the one real life example right so you can see that so one and if in the that during natural joy Yeah. When more than one column is having uh, same name means repeating in both side. Yeah. Can I use or or using clause to pick the column I want to do the? No, in natural one automatically tag means um, it will tag both. That's why you have to use inner join. So on, on which attribute, right? We have to join on. Okay. Which so so you are saying that in natural join the uh, tuples may be repeated, right? No, no. See. Yeah. in the a b c you can see that there are two common column right same number of uh, same name right b c hello yes sir yes sir so yes. it will be it will be join on the based on the b c common values right if there is a 1 2 if there is a 1 2 right so it, it will based on the b c common value so i will give one example right so that will be very helpful i think we can see that That no sir, table. I think what what Samit was trying to ask, which which I have understood. Yeah. Uh, let us assume that there is only one column, not two column. Let us assume there is only one column common in both the tables, right? Yeah, yeah. And if I perform natural join, yeah. And say for example, two names are common. Two yeah. names are common. Say for example, so whether those two tuples will appear or not? Yeah. So in the uh, you are talking about that the, that you were trying to ask. You yeah, are talking about the tuple, right? If there is a Yes, uh, sir. Say for yeah. example, yes, sir. Pews and pews, you know. Yeah, then uh, tuple will be tuple will be come. There, if there is a one pews, then tuple will be come another. So tuple will be come. So based on the same column, it will be joining in the in the same column. So for okay. each. So typically, uh, the relations are joined with uh, like primary keys, but if you got non-prime attributes and non-prime attributes are common between two relations, yeah, which can have to be, then it creates problem. Like what example you are talking about? But typically, yeah. So I I I'll, I'll be seeing so, one of them. So, so just just last question from my side, sir. Like in case of natural join, also say for example, as you said that that word left and right are exist, right? 
yeah, so yeah. here also the concept will remain same that yeah. the, the left will have all the tuppers from the left side and the right will have all the tuppers from right side right yeah 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 concept okay. will be the same okay thank you so, thank you sir see you can see that there are team table and the manager table you can see that two uh, attributes are common right name and the team id name and the team id right yes yes so if you do the okay so let's do first in our right okay. the manager name of a team other is the name of an individual right so if you yeah. do that you will not get yeah we will not get any anything yeah select list from teams e uh, in our join manager and on m dot team id equal to e dot team ID. So you can so see that from from no. oh. from teams. Sorry, so you get the uh, uh, corresponding team name and the manager name. You'll get, and if you do the natural join, right, you'll not get anything, right, because you left to start from teams natural join manager, right. So, will not get anything right because uh, it will see the both team name, team ID also, and the name. If there is a two team ID, the same like team ID and the name, like manager table also same, and the team table also same. Then it will face the record. Okay, so both that uh, both the columns must have same information. Uh, yeah, both the columns that that's why okay. we are using better to using uh, better to use inner zone because on which attribute okay. we are joining on. Which attribute? Got it. Sir, when you showed last time that in case of a left inner join, yeah. you simply wrote left join, right? Yeah, yeah. left outer join. Or ha, left. Yeah. Ha, sorry, left. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Right outer join. So in case of natural join, what should, what should be the syntax, sir? If I am writing left natural join, then what will be my syntax? Natural, I think natural left join or natural left outer join. You can try one. Okay. Okay. So after that is clear, join is yeah, clear. That means, sir, in natural join, the on cross we can write. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we join on the best on the. No, uh, on clause we can't write. Yeah, yeah. We can write because in natural join, join and the same attributes automatically take on the same attributes, whichever the is same. But in inner join, we can specify it on which attribute. Okay. okay. So after that is clear. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So let's solve some question. So join is very important part because uh, there may be some question you will get using the join. Okay. So this is the question. Write an SQL, write a SQL statement to find the manager date of birth of the team for which Slok plays. So yeah. So um, you can see the player table and the team ID table, right? The player and the manager, right? So we have to find the find out the manager date of birth of the team for which Slok plays. So right. So I'll first I will write using the cross join right then we'll see the using inner join also right so select you have to find the manager data part right so let's start uh, dob from player p manager m where m dot team id ID equal to p dot team ID. So can we join this to uh, directly? I think the diagram was saying we had to go through another table. If you look at the schema, yeah, but there is a team ID is common, right? So we can. Oh, also okay, okay. So that means that link is missing here. The team ID from managers should it be connected with the players? 
so yeah, basically this team are taken from teams right so but Correct. so if you see that so, data uh, i you can yeah yeah got it got it yeah, yeah. but technically speaking there should have been a line between the team id uh, yeah 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 no. team id and 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 the slope place right so p dot name equal to p dot name equal to slope yeah p dot m equal to so you can see that dob dob is both the both in the column right so you have to mention which dob right so m dot d ambiguity right so we have to yeah. the prefix your, your name is also common so you have to find the manager data of birth right so name we have to we have to specify p dot name right yeah manager data of birth my god yeah so yeah. this is clear and if you, in this query also using you you write using the inner join also like select m dot dov from players e inner join another m on m dot team id equal to p dot team id where p dot name equal to slug and you can using also sub query this query right? so we'll come to that sub query then we'll try to change the sub query also sir one doubt here yeah um, sir the there wasn't a direct link between the players and the managers uh, in the yeah. schema yeah yeah but you can see that there is <clears throat> email, right if you see the data uh, you, mm -hmm. you can also from the team table you can also join using the team table you can uh, you can also write the means we can join three also yeah. tables for yeah. this yeah, same you, question yeah you will get same result but okay. i'm yeah, you can see, if you see the data team id is that will be team id is common for uh, yeah. both yeah. managers and players yeah yeah okay so after that is clear for everyone yes so okay. could you come to line number 185 of them yes one Sorry, no no this one only. yeah 185 could you explain the question so it is so small i'm not able to read it okay I write an sql statement to find out the manager date of birth of the team for which slope plays so we have to find the manager date of birth means we have to find the uh, slope plays so you have to find the okay, so slope is a player okay slope yeah, is so, a player yes okay so you have to find the uh, uh, slope play in which team, right? So you can. So you have solved it in two ways, right? Yeah, yeah. So the first way is select uh, m dot dv from players. And another uh, also you can solve using the sub query, right? So we'll managers also... m or managers n. Okay, managers m. Select m. Okay. Okay. and we can we can also solve using that select the... dov from managers where managers manager manager yeah where team id team id equal to or team in whatever in then uh, sub query select team id where name equal to slope um player oh, sorry from players on players where name equal to slope. So you can write you know multiple ways. So whatever you want. You can write. Okay. So from performance standpoint, uh, the second query will run faster, right? So uh, they, they all three give the same result. But, uh, yeah. uh, but yeah. if there are a million records in each, let's say. I think I, I think this query will run fast. 
this last query, one. Yeah? Last one. Because it will avoid the Cartesian product, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Avoid the right. one part. Just simply the team ID and just. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I will wait one minute. So you can solve second question. So practice is necessary, right? So I'll be wait one minute. After that, I'll be solving. Find the name, player ID, and the date of birth and city of all players who played for team Rainbow. So you can write your query. You can write uh, in the chat box also, Google chat box also. What about the query? Yeah. So can you copy paste the question in the chat box? Okay. I'll take it. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So open the schema page. Yeah. I can open your uh, PG admin also and schema page also. Yeah. So anyone solve? Hello? One minute, we're almost done. Okay. 
so anyone okay hello yes sir yeah yeah whatever you write you can please tell that is sir select uh let p dot name i'm calling players as p so oh. p dot name p dot name comma p dot uh, player id p dot player id comma p dot dab uh, p dot dob player state of birth dob comma uh, t uh, teams for t t dot city t dot city uh, from uh, from players space p comma teams space t states where p dot player id uh, yeah where where p dot player id equal to t dot player id not player id i think where p dot team id p dot team id is equal to t dot team id Sorry, sorry. Ha, huh, sorry. P dot uh, team ID equal to T dot team ID. Sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah, team ID and T dot name equal to rainbow. So also, Inarjan can do also. Yeah, you yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, multiple, yeah. multiple ways. Inarjan can do. Yeah, you can also do in the uh, with the help of Inarjan. Okay. All right. Okay, so next is the find the roll numbers of all male students having their department department building is block two, right? So this is from the LH database. Right? So if you see the LH database from the department building, we you will get from departments table and the student table. Corresponding, you will get right. So you have to find the gender, yeah, student yeah. and department. Yeah, num the numbers. Mm -hmm. Find the roll number, right? So select roll number. Roll number. Um, the student. Student. Student S, department D. And here you can also. You can join using the natural join. So natural join, yeah. yeah. So mm. that's from a student. Natural join. So what is common between them? I mean, which attribute? Uh, department. You can see department, so department code. Code. Department code is there, right? Okay. So in the <coughs> and department building equal to where building equal to. Department Lock building, two. right? Yeah, department building. Lock two. Lock two. And gender equal to male. Yeah. Lock two. And gender equal to M. M. So in this case, we can write your body. Sorry, students. Departments, I think. Spelling. Yeah. Roll number from a student, natural her department equal to. Block. Capital B block two. Oh, block. Okay, let's see the. Let's visualize the department table. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Departments. Yeah, block. There is a. Underscore. Yeah, yeah. 
sir many times these underscores are also not given in the question no, we have to underscore will be given in the question so ah. actually underscore is given but when i copy paste underscore yeah. is somehow missed underscore that that will be the given in the question that also causes error <laughs> yeah yeah that will be given in the question don't worry so when i copy paste from the i think browser okay yeah, so that's why underscore is missed somehow so it, it's clear for everyone Sir, I have a yes, question, sir. sir. Yeah. So go to the that solution, sir. Go to that solution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if you refer to the schema table, this gender is equal to male. Male is in capital letter. Is nowhere mentioned. <clears throat> how do we know? If we, this is uh, uh, in upper case or yeah. lower case. Uh, just select star from a student. Selection is case sensitive. So see. Just select star from student. You can see. But in uh, exam portal, it will won't give any output. How do I change? Yeah, yeah exam portal is gives the output. I think. I think it gives. No, it will just give incorrect. No, no. In the like if you so if we do select distinct gender from students, it should give right. So see, if you do uh, select distinct gender. So see. We start from manager, right? Okay. So managers do test run. Okay. Let's see. In the C, you can you can see there is a uh, output, uh, right? If you see the output, so M zero one Jacob. So in the example, years. you can see also the. Output whatever the value in the example you can see. Okay, so this is clear. But uh, this thing without header, right? Yeah, this thing. Uh, uh, I think. So, yeah, this thing without header, but uh, you can see manager table. First is manager ID, then name, then D DOB, then team ID, then scenes, right? So you can oh. see. There, oh. see manager ID, then name, DOB, team, and the scenes. We can see. Okay. Yeah. And okay. sir, I have also small, one small request. After you completing this, yeah. take any program in the portal and do some mistake and let the your output. How to read okay. this output? Because which thing I means I am not able to decipher much from this error statement. Oh, okay. uh, hello, Samit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if your query is correct and giving some output, so your your error will be incorrect code, right? And you can see the output uh, below if you scroll down, right? Yeah. But your mm -hmm. query is having some syntax error that it will show uh, wrong uh, syntax error, and, and error will be also be displayed if you scroll down. Yeah, that part I want to know where it is displaying because it is so many things. Yeah. So when do yeah uh, instead of manager just. Uh, you can put any. You can just rename, okay. rename it. Okay, uh, remove yes, yeah. Now you can scroll down. See, manager does not exist, right? You can see the P SQL term SQL error. Let's say manager mm. does not have this. Like that, you have to see the this P SQL term dot error. Where is there? So then you can see the error. Okay. So you so can see so the in the top. You can see in the OPP exam in the top. You can see or you can so, see the error command. So relation manager does not have this. Then you can. Yeah, so I suggest like uh, all of you just spend some time on the portal, right? Practicing, try any query, do some mistake, like which is plenty. Uh, hmm. Sorry. So we definitely do a lot of mistakes. So I think we pay attention. That's how we finish the graded assignment. We make all these mistakes. Then mm -hmm. we fly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The good news is Samit doesn't have a manager. It's proven, so he can attend uh, three to four p.m. calls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Swindu, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you come to previous question? They were related to roll number and all. Just now we solved, no? Yes. 
So here we have used uh, inner join, right? We have natural join. Natural join, sorry. Yeah, so you, in, you can use also cross join, inner join. You can solve using that. But I've used natural. Okay, okay. No, I was just asking: is there any trick to identify that where to use natural join? Or no, no, no. Join? You can solve using cross join also, uh, inner join also. Okay, okay, got it. Okay. So, yeah. So now, okay. So next question: find the uh, let's okay, let's solve this query write an sql query to find the names of all players of the team amigos right so anyone select so you have to um, write an sql query find the names of all player right select name yeah so you have to names of all player right so select name okay name. Select name. Name. P dot name. P dot yeah. name because there is a name in the teams also to create ambiguity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some players. Yeah. Okay. P. Space P. Yeah. Comma teams comma space T. Teams T. Where P dot team ID equal to T dot team ID. Equal to T dot team ID and T dot name equal to Amigos. It must be from Spain, French. Amigos. Okay. So you can see the name of the all players of the team. Amigos, right? Eleven players. Yeah. Okay. So in the other question, I will paste in the chat box. You can solve in your own. I'll go to the sub query. Right? Is that is okay. that okay or okay 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 so or now now i will solve no we can okay so i will paste in the chat box also okay then the sub query right okay so what is a sub query sub query is a query that appears inside another query right so this is the inner query and this is the outer query so that appear another query instrument right so uh, so sub query inner query inner query execute before the main query or outer query and the result of inner query will be used by the main query right so we'll see with the help of some example right so write an s okay so this is the university database I can SQL query to find the IDs of the course taken by student Zhang, right? So this is from the university database. So if you uh, see the uh, schema, the student table, then the ID, the name, department, and the total credit, and you can take ID and the course ID, section IDs, semester, and the right and the grade, right? So you have to find the IDs of the courses taken by student name Zhang, right? So you can also using the uh, you can solve using the cross join also and the uh, inner join also. So I'll but I will solve in the using the inner join, right? So select you have to find the course ID from X where ID ID in select ID from a student equal to where sorry question where sometimes we are also See, select course ID from so I think there is no records in the junk. So select start from student. 
students uh, in the university only so students right? students i believe yes Plural. no no in the university database oh, it's, it's similar okay it's only so only student okay okay yeah, yeah. University. So, so Jang exist here or i think not exist here so this is yeah. so let's give a where condition also right where it's difficult to see a room uh, okay see uh, room math right so yeah room math. right so that's not the query you can see the list of course id stacked by the student name room math. So, so what prompted us to go for subquery? Like, uh, what which part of the question gave us some hint to go for subquery? Could you please explain? It? So, uh, see, a maximum subquery uh, uh, solve using the inner zone or cross zone also, right? But some query like uh, correlated query, we cannot be solved using the you know inner zone or cross zone. So we have to use subquery some query maybe that you have to do using the practice so think of uh, let's say flipkart flipkart has million customers and right. it also has uh, you know like a 10000 skus so if you want to know what are the things you have bought from flipkart in last one year you can do that through a join but imagine doing a cartesian product between you know 10 million versus 10 million right to it will like blow through those so in order to make it efficient, you do a subquery and then use that as input. So it's like a pipeline, right? So it will run much, much faster. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay then right, uh, write an SQL statement to find the manager data of birth of the team with slow place. So you can write using we have write you know subquery in the upper. So you can also write using the subquery, right? So I think we have right using the sub query also, right? So let's copy paste. So first we write team ID from players when name equal slope, then select DOB from managers for team ID in select team ID from players when name equal to slope, right? So this is clear for everyone. Yes. So we have, we have studied uh, the complexity, right? So if the manager's uh, tuples are M and the players are P, yeah, this is M plus P. But if you do a, you know, inner journey or whatever, then the order is M N. Yeah, or yeah. Whatever, P, right? So huge difference. Yeah, yeah, huge difference. Yeah. Okay. Then the any, right? So, so can we call it a day, sir? It is becoming too heavy in one day. <laughs> 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 All the concepts you are trying to make. Can we cover it tomorrow from subquery onwards? But that, uh, let us finish our some more thing. Okay, chalo, uh, but, yeah, see, but there is a uh, uh, we are planned in the next session we will practice question, right? So that's okay. why so I tomorrow have, in next class. Tomorrow is only next session. And tomorrow I, I, I what next day, I think. Okay. So what we are going to cover tomorrow then? Uh, tomorrow is the doubt clearing session so if you have any doubt you can ask we'll clear your doubt okay okay, okay so let us proceed so so ready, we, let we proceed. have to we'll plan so let's finish sir because who knows yeah. the last question may be coming up in the quiz right yes yes let us proceed yeah yeah <laughs> thanks to youtube right you can always you know drink and then enjoy again yeah. okay <laughs> you can drink <laughs> i mean i mean Cool it, yeah. Okay, see. Then any, so what any do? So it returns uh, Boolean value, true or false as a letter, uh, as a result, right? So any operator return true if any of the subquery value satisfy the condition, right? So it returns in the, right? If the subquery returns true, then it's print the record, right? If the subquery returns false, don't print the record right so any operator return true if any of the subquery values satisfy the condition right so we will see one example right so okay so this is the
So, and the details of those instructor of the accounting department who have more salary than at least one instructor in the psychology department, right? So we have to print the details of the those instructor in accounting department. We have more salary, at least one instructor in the psychology department. So let's write the query. Select from instructor. Fire department name equal to accounting, right? And salary better than any right. select salary, select salary. From instructor, instructor, where department equal to psychology. Department equal to psychology. Let's copy. So it will print the so it will print the details of those instructor of the accounting department who have more salary than the at least one instructor of the psychology department right then the all so all is uh, all operator return true if all of the sub quality of all of the sub query sir one important point sir so wherever the name date of birth you are copy pasting we are not able to do that in the portal we have to write uh, i think you can also do okay see in exam they don't allow copy paste sir. okay then you have to you can see you have to write in the exam don't allow okay you can uh, write it so i'm for um, less time that's why I mean for quick that's why I'm writing uh, copy paste the okay. okay then the uh, no, all operator right so all operator returns true if all the sub query values satisfy the condition so find the details of those instructor of the accounting department who have more salary than all the instructor of the psychology department right so if you do that so just you have to in the case of any you have to write all so any all is clear for everyone so we can also do one other way like i can take the max salary from psychology yeah yeah, then, yeah that, that is, also is possible yeah yeah that also is possible there is multiple way so right, that's right. I'm uh, you know explaining that any operator and all operator. That's why I've taken this example. Yes. Okay. So up to that is clear. Okay, then then exist operator. So what exist operator do? The exist operator return true if the sub query returns one or more record. If sub query returns one or more record, then exist operator return true and the not what do in the not exist operator the this is not existed so the not exist operator return true if the sub query returned no rows right so exactly opposite, opposite to the exist operator so let's see one question that will be better right. So find out the details of the members who have not issued any books, right? So we have to find the details of the members who have not issued any book, right? So if you see the schema, in the book issue table, 
there is member numbers and the corresponding the access number which uh, which book which access number is issued right so let's write the query okay so let's uh, select start from members where members that's it m where not exist select register from book issue book issue is b Or b dot uh, member number equal to okay. Where b dot number equal to what this is in b number set. So can you do the join inside the subquery? Uh, inside the, in yeah, you can uh, inside subquery you can join also. So the all the uh, aliases defined in the outer query is available to the inner query. Like in this case, uh, members is M. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, it will be. Uh, because we have taken M, right? So you can use right, in the right, tab query also. Right, right. Book issue does not exist. So let's, what is there? Book issue. Okay. Book issue is there, right? So you can see the details of the members who have not issued any book. So select a star from members where not exist. Select a star from book issue where m not member number so for particular member numbers it will print the numbers of book issue so if there is not exist any records then it will return true right so if not exist any record means that we have means particular members not have any issued book right so so after that is clear for everyone uh, sir could you please explain which two tables you referred uh, this is the uh, see this is members and this is the book issue right from book is okay. we can get member number. So, so the common feature is member number, right? Yeah, common feature is member number. Okay, and we want to get the all records of members, right? So all the features of members are in members call members table, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So and this is the uh, join between I think three tables. So I'll be waiting two three minutes, right? So please try to solve this. So uh, this is previous Sorry. question or previous previous year question i think this is so please so try like, to... so line 263 that was the question yeah line two. So can you copy paste that in the chart please yeah i'll be waiting two three minutes after that i'll be solved sure sir open the schema which is flis right Okay, one minute. You can solve, I uh, think, cross and in as anything, whatever you want.
Okay, anyone solve? Hello? Sir, oh, I think uh, we thought the uh, the fourth referee is a uh, name, but looks like that's an ID. So it will do it with referees to some point. So it's a three table job. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just one. I will have to rectify the query. Okay, so. Okay, you can tell. I will write. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. No issue. So let's write the query. So find the names of the fourth referee and the match numbers of all matches played on 2022 Yeah. Right, so that will come from. So basically, we need three tables here: matches, match referees, right. and referees. Yeah. So from yeah, fourth referee, you will get fourth referee ID. You will get from match, match referee, Correct. and the name of fourth referee you will get from referee table, and match Correct. table, match date table you will go from uh, you. Match number and the date. Yeah, match date. You will find from matches, right? So let's write the query. Yeah, that was the select. Select, uh, uh, select, let, so we have to call it uh, referees as R, match referees as MR, yeah. and uh, matches as M, right? We'll follow that convention. So then select yeah. uh, R dot name, R dot name, comma, mm -hmm. M dot match name, yeah. from, from matches space M. It's, it's M. Comma match referees, comma, I mean space MR. Match referee, uh, can you tell a spelling? R E F. F. I mean, I don't know, it was not visible clearly, whatever it is. Match referees. R E F E R W S. Yeah. yeah. Only referee F. space MR. MR. Comma referee. R -E. Space R. R E F E R W S. Yeah. Where we can come to the next line or whatever it is. Where a M dot match num. M dot match num. Match underscore num. Match underscore num. Equal to M R dot match underscore num. Let's go num. And and MR dot, I think uh, if you go back, uh, MR dot um, fourth MR, referee, fourth referee equal to R dot referee ID. And, and R dot referee ID. ID. Underscore ID. Referee. Re referee underscore ID. And M dot match date equal to within code 2020 hyphen 5 hyphen 19. 
Open zero five. So let's run the query. Let me sub term and submit. Yeah, it will give them. All right. Yeah. So yeah, this uh, we are using this is the cross zone. You can also done using the uh, inner zone also. So basically, what we have to we have done. So we have done the cross zone of all the three tables and matches dot match num equal to match referee dot match num and match referee dot match num equal to referees and match referees dot s fourth referee equal to referees to referee id and match num match that equal to whatever the given that right so we can also uh, do using the inner zone so this Sir, question is yeah any join operation is a binary operation right any join operation is binary operation right like uh, it can be performed two operators are only needed to perform that uh, operations uh, so you mean to say like you can join three tables yeah yeah, yeah i am coming to that only if it's a binary yeah. operation then how can we join three tables at a time that, that is my doubt so uh, basically what to uh, uh, join two tables the result of the table then then join Okay, so it, it, it is happening in the background. Yeah, yeah, it is happening in the background. I think the domain of uh, you know these are three relations. Yeah, right. Right. they are from each domain. So the final output uh, will be a relation, but it will be you know uh, m cross n cross p. You know, so think of like that, right? Yeah. So, so that and end. that question you can also do in the uh, using do in the. Inner general, so, so, so could you please explain the syntax again, sir? Right, yeah. we are taking the help of three tables, that is clear, yeah. Because so the, name of the name of the fourth referee is in okay. So, le first, let me explain, right? Yes, so, so we basically do, do the cross zone of three <laughs> tables, right? Then I met this dot mess num equal to match referee dot mess num and match referee dot fourth referee equal to referees dot referee id and match that equal to whatever the given right you can see we have uh, we have given from matches m match refer is mr and the refer is r right and we are printing r dot names means referee name and match number right and where m dot match num equal to mr mr is match referee right mr dot match num and mr dot fourth referee mr dot match match referee mm, dot fourth referee equal to r dot referee id and m dot match that equal to whatever the given that right so you can okay. see that you have to find the referee name right so so, so let me explain. we have to find the referee name right so mm. from referee table you can refer in name but from match referee you will get fourth referee oh. id right so you have to find the fourth referee name so you have you'll, from match referee table you will get fourth referee id right and match that you will get from message table that's why we are using Merco join between the three tables and, and is used twice yeah and it's, it's i think it's thrice. yes yeah actually three times i mean i'm like uh one two three times actually yeah. because the third time it is used to filter the match table match so the match right. Right. right right okay so this is clear for everyone hmm. okay then so you can accept also like up to four table so, so this query would you call it difficult or moderate i think you know we got an email three easy questions three difficult and two kind of intermediate or whatever right uh, yeah, the, yeah, three, three one three easy three moderate and one difficult so yeah, it's a so, yeah so is it moderate or difficult uh, in our rating system See, the, in, the, there, there can be uh, three join, three table join, and can be multiple condition also. So it, it can we can we will say this is a moderate. Moderate, okay, yeah. all right. So we have to up the game more. It is super difficult for us. No, <laughs> no, no. I like summit strategy. See, I will ask up to the fourth table then. So that, that will be super difficult, right? <laughs> Good try, Samit. So see, simply you have to join. So Samit has said it correctly. <laughs> it is super difficult for us. 
I am still struggling to find out which all tables to refer. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's move to the next query. So, write a SQL query to find the members numbers of each faculty which department building is in block one. This is a block salad. underscore one. This is a salad. Oh, yeah, underscore one. Yeah. From LH database, right? So this is from LH database. So we have to find the SQL query to find the members numbers of each faculty whose department building is in block one. So let's see the schema first. So we have to find the members numbers right members numbers of the faculty of the faculty which department building is block one so you have to you can see that from members table you, can, you will find the member numbers and the uh, from the faculty table you can get the faculty right and the from department table you will get department building. so basically you have to another three join three table right yeah so so let's write the query so i will be uh, you can see that uh, you can see that there is a faculty and members only one common yeah mft id right and department code so you can also you know using natural join right natural join here yeah. select find the member number right member number from members faculty Department departments department equal to block one. Okay, so let's run the code. So you'll find, find the names, members number of members numbers of each faculty which department building is in block one. You can also do using the cross van or inner zone. So after that is this clear for everyone. Yes. Okay. yes sir. Okay, so if you have any question you can ask. So will you share this? Uh, yes. We share this PDF. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I will share in the classroom. All the questions I will be sharing in the classroom. So we will we'll practice all of it uh, you yeah. know, individually, so that yeah. will make us feel confident. Yeah. So uh, I, I think you have used two or three files sir, for different data set. Please share all the three files. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. I will share all the. So I'll be suggesting please uh, try to solve all the thirty SQL practice question on your own. Then please try to solve mock whatever the mock questions in the portal, seek portal, all the eight nine question. Then please solve week two graded assignment question, week two practice assignment question, week through week three practice assignment question, and week three graded assignment question. And for Python DB connectivity, please try to solve week seven practice programming questions and the week seven graded programming question. So when are you going to cover that Python connectivity uh, question? Uh, next, next. On Wednesday, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. First of all, I think I will have to practice this course which you have written. So once I will have to write on my own. <laughs> well, you can practice tonight. You are fresh. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So. I think we can bind up the session. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Otherwise, we'll bind the session. Thank you very much, sir. Very, very good. Thank you. Very, very, very good PDF, sir. Classroom. Uh, uh, Google Classroom. OK, sir. Yeah. I think we receive an email also no? when you share something on. Uh, yeah, you will, I think you will receive. Or after one hour, you can check Google Classroom. Yes, yes. Thank you. OK. Thank, thank you, you everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Good night, everyone.